Dear student in secondary three with you, Mr. Imad Yunan, experienced teacher of biology. Today we'll start together support in men and the structure of locomotory system or skeleton system. Number one, what is meant by support in men? Support, it is the mechanism that help the men to do many function like motion, like protecting some systems in your body. A skeleton system in men work on supporting the body, number one, number two, protecting some organ like heart, like skull, like brain, like spinal cord, and participate in the movement in addition providing the human with special the function of skeleton system. Number one, support the body. Number two, protecting some organ like heart, like brain, like spinal cord. Number three, participate in the movement number four providing the human body in a special shape a skeleton system consists of five parts which are part number one skeleton part number two cartilage the part between bones joint the meeting between two bones ligaments number five tendons again skeleton cartilage joint ligaments Pondons. First, we will teach you together the skeleton or skeleton system. Skeleton in human consists of 206 bones, has shape and the size that are sweet for function. What are the structure of a skeleton or skeleton system? It is divided into two parts, axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of three parts, vertebral column, skull, thoracic cavity, or chest cavity. Appendicular skeleton consists of pectoral gradle and upper limbs, pelvic gradle and lower limbs. We will teach each part by full details and the function of each part. This is a picture of the skeleton in the human. You will see the axial skeleton consists of a skull, Number one, consists of vertebral column, consists of rib cage. Three part is called axial skeleton. Another structure of skeleton, appendicular skeleton. Number one, pectoral gradle and upper limbs. That is a pectoral gradle and upper limbs. Then, pelvic gradle and lower limbs. We will start the structure of axial skeleton. Number one the vertebral column. The axial skeleton consists of vertebral column. We will teach in vertebral column structure. Number two, function. Number three, the shape of vertebra in vertebral column. The skeleton system of an axis called the vertebral column or called the backbone. Connect of vertebral column with other part of skeleton. It connected with upper limbs and connected with lower limbs. It attached with upper end with the skull. Backbone or vertebral column connected with a skull or carries a skull. Number two, the vertebral column is also connected with thoracic cage and thoracic vertebra. And the four limbs through the shoulder bones. It attached with the lower limbs through the pelvic. What is meant by vertebral column? Vertebral column, it is the eggs of human body. It connected with the skull from upper end. It connected with thoracic cage. It connected with upper limbs. It connected with lower limbs. Vertebral column consists of 33 vertebra. 33 vertebra is divided into five grooves according to shape and region. What are the type of vertebra in backbones or vertebral column? Number one, seven, cervical articulating vertebra. And its size is moderate. You will see in the picture, this vertebra exists in the neck and called cervical articulating vertebra. Articulating means joint, means it can move left or right. Number two, there is another kind of vertebra. Start from vertebra number eight, that is the vertebra number eight and is called thoracic vertebra the number of thoracic vertebra 12 what are the properties of thoracic vertebra number one articulating 
Number two, larger than cervical vertebra. The thoracic vertebra exist in thoracic region or exist in chest region. Its number is 12 vertebra. Number one until number 12. So the thoracic vertebra number 12 lies or exist in the 19 vertebra. Number three is called lumbar vertebra. That is the lumbar vertebra. What are the probabilities of lumbar vertebra and its number? Number the five. And probabilities articulating largest and the face of the abdominal region. Again, the vertebral column consists of seven cervical articulating vertebra exist in the region of neck. Number two, 12 thoracic articulating vertebra exist in thoracic region. Number five, Lumbar vertebra exist in abdominal region of the body. Another number four, five sacral vertebra, board, flat, and fused together. So we say five sacral vertebra, the number five, but it consider one vertebra because these vertebra are joined together and act as one vertebra. Number five, coccygeal vertebra, that is the coccygeal vertebra, a small and diffuse, and its number four coccygeal vertebra. Again, seven cervical vertebra, twelve thoracic vertebra, five lumbar vertebra, five sacral vertebra, four coccygeal vertebra. The scaral vertebra, coccygeal vertebra, consider as one and one. So the number of the vertebra in vertebral column 26 because there is a 7 12 so the total number equal 19 5 the total 24 and 1 scaral and 1 coccygeal so the total number of the vertebra in vertebral column is called 26 what are the function of vertebral column vertebral column act as the main support of the body Number two, it protects the spinal cord because the spinal cord lies inside it, so it protects the spinal cord. Number three, it helps the movement of the body, help in movement of head in any direction, and help in the movement of upper parts of the body, and help in the movement of your lower limbs. Note the number of bones in vertebral column or vertebral column in human about 26 due to the fusion of five sacral vertebra together as one bones and five coccygeal vertebra as one bone. So the total number seven cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, one scaral, one coccygeal. So the total number equal 26. What are the structure of bony vertebra in the front of you? It consists of many parts. Part number one is called syndrome. The interior sick part is called syndrome. That is the syndrome or the body of vertebra. Syndrome attached lottery with two transverse process. That is called the transverse process. Transverse in the left and the transverse in the right. Number three, syndrome attached posterior with bony ring. Bony ring, which is a spinal cord inside it and direct to neural spinal. Again, syndrome is the body of vertebra. Number two, two transverse process. Number three, spinal ring. Number uh, four, the neural ring is surrounded by neural canal in which the spinal cord exists to be protect. And there is uh, another process which you called posterior process. The number of process in the typical vertebra is seven. Number one, two transverse process. Number two, anterior process, that is anterior process. Number uh, three, two posterior and inferior process. After that, there is a neural spine. Number two from the axial skeleton, a skull. The structure of a skull is called Cranium, it is a bony cases, consists of posterior part, cerebral parts, consists of its serrated bones attached firmly to each other to form a cavity which protects the brain. 
At the base of the skull, there is a foramen magnum, through which is a spinal cord connected to brain. Number two, the anterior part or fecal bone include face of bones, the two jaw, and the position of the sense organ, ears, eye, and nose. Again, the structure of a skull, it consists of eight bones that are attached firmly of each other by serrated tabs to form the cavity to protect the brain. That is called the frontal bones, that is called partial bones, or say, petial bones, temporal bones. That is four and another four in another size. That is the bones of jaw, contain the cavities of eye, contain the cavities of ear, contain the cavities of nose, the teeth. We'll see the video about the structure of the skull. Bones of a skull, it consists of 14 parts. Partial bones or partial bones. Number two, frontal bone. Number three, hospital bone. Number four, temporal bones. Number five, siphonoid bone. Number six, smoid bones. Seven, lacrimal bones. Nozal bone exists in the nose. Vomar. Inferior nasal conch. Zygomatic bone. Exist beside the E is I. Plantial bone. Maxilla. Exist in upper jaw. Mandible. Or lower jaw. Hyoid bone. Number three from axial skeleton, the thoracic cage. A thoracic cage, a case slightly conical in shape, connected posterior to the 12 thoracic vertebra from behind. Thoracic vertebra and interior with sternum, a flat bones point. The shape is conical, means pointed from upper and wide from base. It is lower part which is cartilage, that is the cartilage part of the Rib cage. The thoracic cage consists of what? Consists of 12 pairs of ribs. All of them are connected posteriorly to the thoracic cavity except the floating rib. But the upper 10 pairs only connected to the sternum. Sternum it is the bones which is the 10 pairs connected together. Interiorly the two lower pairs Bears number 11 and the bears number 12 are short and don't reach to the sternum, so they are called the floating ribs. And they make the chest cavity wide because the lungs and the heart exist in it. And they are attached to the vertebral number 18, 
and 19 of the vertebral column. Refs join in the thoracic vertebra starting from uh, vertebra number 8 after cervical vertebra until reach to the vertebra number 19. What is meant by refs? That is the shape of refs. It is the curved bones bend downward and attached posteriorly with the syndrome of the vertebra or thoracic vertebra and the transverse process sternum it is the flat bones that is pointed from lower parts that is the lower part which is cartilaginous and the first 10 pairs of the ribs are attached together there is a, another two ribs join with vertebra number 18 and 19 and don't connect it with the sternum called the floating uh, ribs. The function of thoracic cage number one protect the heart and lungs number two help the ribs movement during respiration during inspiration or during inhalation the ribs move interiorly or move upward and laterally to increase the volume of chest cavity so the air enter to the lungs during the expiration or exhalation the ribs move posteriorly and downward to decrease the volume of thoracic cavity uh, and the air comes out from the lungs we will take the important number about axial skeleton or axial skeleton in numbers the numbers of process in vertebral column 168 the number of the process in typical vertebra 7 the number of fused sacral or coccygeal vertebra is 9 that is the sum of the 5 sacral vertebra and the 4 coccygeal vertebra the number of the intermediate vertebra 17 which is called the thoracic the number of bones in cerebral part of the skull posterior part of the skull 8 posterior means the back the number of bone in interior part of the skull 14 so the total number of the skull bones 22 the numbers of reps 12 pairs or 24 reps the number of reps 24 the number of reps used with sandram is 20 10 pairs there is two reps that don't join with sternum which is called the floating reps the number of floating rep 4 or 2 pairs the number of reps connected with sternum is 10 pairs the number of bones connected with sternum is 22 the number of bones in rib cage is 37 37 produced from uh, 24 reps and 12 thoracic cage and syndrome 12 plus 24 equal 36 sternum is 1 so the total number is 37 number of transverse process 48 which is the number of artic articulating vertebra times 2 the articulating vertebra 7 cervical 12 thoracic 5 lumbar so the total number equal 24 24 times 2 equal 48 the number of bones in vertebral column 26 because the sacral vertebra and coccygeal vertebra are fused of the type vertebral column five groups cervical thoracic lumbar sacral coccygeal vertebra that is the type of the bones in vertebral column the number of bones in axial skeleton is 18 the total number of the rib cage bones and vertebra of vertebral column 58 so we finished from the teaching of axial skeleton thanks for listening and watching don't forget join for channel and subscribe write your comments and see in the next video